and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 45 machinist quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we hit level almost 48 <laughs> because we've been doing Palace of the Dead. We've been doing the roulettes every day and so on. So leveling is, like I said, stupidly fast. It's, it's actually so fast I've already skipped two levels, nearly three, before doing this quest. So anyway, we're here with Steph at um, 810 in Foundation. So the quest is called A Suppressive Strategy. And we'll get the ability Suppressive Fire. So it delivers an attack with a potency of 100. Additional effects stun, duration 2 seconds. Shares recast timer with Head Graze. Okay. So Steph wishes to discuss strategy for the upcoming tourney. Oh, the upcoming tourney. So greetings, Mifri. Your training proceeds apace, I trust. Stay a while and we can discuss our strategy for the tourney. So it would appear that everyone is present, even our dear instructor. So let us delve into the particulars of the upcoming contest. Now the degree of favor that this Holy See bestows is much influenced by the outcome of the tourney, and thus do the nobles enter only their most able champions. I assume that uh, Tagagogal Grinch, and in his self-minded maliciousness, seeks to humiliate us before the adjudicators and thereby convince the Holy See to cease the flow of funds to the manufactory. I don't understand, me lordship. Most Ditch Guardians ain't hard, so hardly aware that Machinists exist. Why we so grabbed Lord Tagalogla's attention? I can't pronounce his name. I'm not even going to try. So that's because he's likely noticed that your firearm could kill a man with naught but your dandy little finger on the trigger. Tis the same reason there's laws in Limsa Laminza what prevent old drunken Horsan from carrying a musket. And Ishgard's hierarchy ain't exactly fair and uh, measured now, is it? If you arm the lowest folk on the ladder with weapons like ours, then you can be sure as to the tide that their barrels soon will be pointed towards them overprivileged blasters what stand at the top. Makes sense, makes sense. But, as you say, most of the nobles don't seem to understand the threat what an army of machinists could pose. This Talagolala bloke is a step ahead. I'll give him that much. Aye, he's a despicable fellow, but also uncommonly clever. Even so, he has failed to arrive at the most obvious conclusion. A well-trained and well-armed populace would strengthen Ishgar's defences tenfold. And if we are to convince the Holy See of that fact, we must claim victory at the tourney. You got some special in mind then? I have considered several strategies, but to practice them here in plain view of our adversaries would void their effectiveness. We must needs look farther afield for a suitable location to train. Bloodshaw and Eastern Lanosia ought to do the trick. I'll secure us a place where we can shoot at our art's content. Joy, pray uh, make preparations for the journey. After you have attended to your duties at the manor, of course. As for you, Mifri, I would have you test another of my innovations. Remain behind and I shall make some adjustments to your AFA transformer. La la kaboom. Okay, so now I boasted to my father that the machinist companies could soon form the backbone of our defense. That was something on an exaggeration. When it comes to gigantic dragons, I one may as well be firing the side of a Barbican. In the tourney, however, the lesser size of our opponents will work against us. It requires intensive training to con consistently track and score hits against targets that are both small and agile. And as there is but little time left before the contest, I have instead concentrated on developing a tactic by which our adversaries might be immobilized. By directing the energy generated by your AFO transformer, you will be able to charge a bullet with lightning and thereby stun the target for your shot. 
With your experience of skill, I'm sure you'll use such a tool to devastating effect. Cool. So let's complete. Ooh -ah. Okay, next quest. So the quest is called Blood on the Sands. Uh, Steph is growing impatient to leave. So once Joyce completed her task at the manor, we can be off to the blood shore. I wonder what could be keeping her. A trip to the market to restock larder or some such? Okay, so let's find Joy at the pillars. So we have to get ready for the tourney. <laughs> Sorry, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch the previous episode. Anyway, so let's go to the pillars. Let's go to the Jewel Grosia, I guess. That's where the market is. Okay, yep. And literally, I'm still basically, I might as well be naked wearing a level 41 weapon. That's it. <laughs> so, and it's so far so good. I'm almost 50. Once I hit 50, my item level is going to jump by like 110. Because I still have my level 50 bar gear. So, oh, hello, Mifri. You must be eager to get in some practice before the big contest. I'll be ready to go as soon as I've hauled me shopping to the manor. If I'm to continue me machinist training, I can't be shirking me other chores. I made a promise to the Count. But I won't keep you waiting much longer. I'll run to the manor with what I've got and come back for this big sack afterwards. Offer to help. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mifri, but I'm stronger than I look. Maybe you could just keep an eye on this other sack until I get back. It shouldn't take too long. Okay. Well, we're lifting our sack. <coughs> right, let's go to the last vigil. Let's go, let's go. And guys, don't be scared to use the Aethernet shards in the towns. Even if it's a short walk, it still will save you a few seconds. So, why not? So, let's go to the last vigil. Okay, here's Joy. It's a nice name. So, Mifri, what are you doing here? Who's watching the other sack? Here it is, baby. So, an unmarked Hapen sack Joy has yet to deliver to Hulanart Manor. Ah, lending a hand to the young Joy here, are you? Very good. This was the last of her task for the day, so she is free to assist Steph in his work. Pray return to your tawny preparations. So, thank you, Mifri. I appreciate you helping me, of course, but I appreciate you helping his lordship even more. The Count was against me becoming a machinist. He knew that me dad's uh, too feeble to work, though, and was kind enough to let me keep me place on the manor staff. Me family be on the street if it weren't for the, this job, and I can't. Sorry, decline. Yeah, I can't thank him enough. Sometimes I don't feel right that I repay him by spending half my time at the manufactory. But maybe now that you're round for Steph, his lordship won't need me to be a machinist no more. Okay, when in Tony will repay the Count's kindness? I never thought of it that way. Well, we should get be getting ourselves to the Bloodshaw. Cool, cool. Right, okay, so let's go to now the... Well, we could just click there. To the Bloodshaw, to... Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol is, of course, from Final Fantasy VII. In Final Fantasy VII, you could actually buy a flat there. I wonder if that's going to be a feature in the Final Fantasy VII Remake, if we can still buy a flat in Costa del Sol. Because that was I was actually really proud of that when I was about 12. You know, being able to, you know, like, read, not read, being able to buy my own flat in the game, even if it was just a game. 
So, yep. Let's continue. Okay, so we have a fight on our hands. Remember, as a ranged DPS, we can tank. Not tank, sorry, we can kite. That's a word. I remember my gaming terms. Totally. So, right, let's begin, shall we? Our objective shall be to explore the most effective methods of countering our knightly opponents. If a knight cannot reach you, he cannot hurt you. Thus, we shall concentrate on those mechanic skills that hinder movement. I have prepared a crate of aromatic meats, said to be irresistible to giant crabs. For the purpose of this exercise, imagine the shell-covered creatures lured by its scent to be enemy knights, and form tactics to prevent their advance. Should the box be broken open, that will signal your defeat. This should prove the perfect opportunity to test your mastery of suppressive fire, eh, Mifri? Yep, so duty calls commence battle for blood on the sands. If your level is above 49, it will be synced. Okay. Kill. Don't let none of the basses reach the box. Fine. Oh crap. Whoops. This <laughs> is like I'm, I shot it completely towards the box. Where is my stun ability? Yeah, let's put that there. Let's just use reload, shall we? This one is stunned. So the box is still generally in good shape, in theory. Obviously, remember that you can't just use sprint because you'll lose all of your TP and then you can't shoot your abilities. You'll have to set your bot to um, TP mode. He's machinist, let's call it a day. <laughs> what is that thing? Oh dear god. Okay, let's do it. Let's start actually using cooldowns for this one. And thankfully it's not after the box, so I can just kite it around. Fairy. We are. Is it dead yet? There we go. Whew. So yeah, try not to shoot the mob towards the box. So, that last fellow was rather unexpected, but you handled him nonetheless. Well done. Your performance has prompted my prospect meter and inspired me with an entirely with entirely new strategies. 
If I may, me lordship, seeing as how well Mifri is coming along, maybe you don't need me in the tourney no more. Whatever could make you think that, my dear, I need you now more than ever. The sight of you and a commoner with a scant, with scant battle experience, sending seasoned knights stumbling and sprawling like, will open the eyes of the Holy See. Why, you shall be the bullet that pierces the tradition-bound hearts. Very well, me lordship, I'll do me best in the name of House Hulanar, for both of you and the Count. That's the spirit. Now, I must return to the workshop. She is fiercely loyal. I hope nothing happens to her. Anyway. Let's go back to Foundation. I've seen t too many sad films. <laughs> Cool. So A for right, A for net, steel manufactory. So I'm definitely recording enough videos. When when the videos start to eventually publish, like you'll probably have seen a couple of videos released per day for like weeks. This is maybe the twenty fifth episode in a row I've recorded and not actually published yet. So, a fine showing out there, Mifri. Joy's lack of enthusiasm troubles me somewhat, but I'm sure the moment her hand uh, closes about her stock, she'll be as ferocious as ever. Cool. That's complete. And that's it. So, that's a 45 quest done. Next quest at level 50. And at the speed we're going, who knows, I might even do it, like, the next day or two. So, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me. And goodbye from Mifri.